What is going on, everybody? We are going to do a little live look at the preview. This is a first impressions video. This is the first time I'm seeing an image here. So right off the bat, this looks like Van Sar for Necromunda. Uh, pretty cool looking Treeman for something. Maybe Lord of the Rings, though. Uh, this looks like an awesome Sigvald Slanesh model, probably. Some wacky Chaos Sorcerer, which is probably a Warcry Warband, possibly. And this looks like a Slanesh guy as well. So let's go ahead and... Oh yeah, there's a Slanesh. So let's check out what this is. I'm a huge Slanesh fan. I love Slanesh demons. I really, really don't want to start a new army, so hopefully none of these get me. Let's see what we got here. Preview. Decadence and Decay. It's about 11.30 a.m. Uh, I did have one buddy mention that he wants to start Dark Eldar. So I'm assuming there's something Dark Eldar in this preview. Rust to Rust. All right. What's the last thing that you want to see when you open your viewpoint this morning? Have you answered the Terminus Est? Whatever. Warzone animated trailer. I'll watch the animated trailers some other time. Okay. Warzone Charidan Act 1, The Book of Rust. I have no idea what this is. I hope it's not another campaign book like Vigilus or Psychic Awakening because we just started 9th edition and we just don't need that stuff in the beginning. We need the codexes out. We don't need additional craziness right off the top. But the book also <laughs> includes new rules. For Death Guard, Adeptus Mechanicus, Imperial Knights, and Jukari. Well, okay. Uh, looks like some kind of supplement book. That's unfortunate. God, I hate that, actually. And especially to put that out before the Codex. Uh, super lame. Or maybe these Codexes aren't coming out for a while. So this is kind of to hold you over and get you up to date. But it feels... I don't know. I don't like it at all. I do have an Adeptus Mechanicus army, though. But I actually sold my previous uh, codexes, so I don't own any of the books. So unless this is the full rules, this, I'm not buying this. It doesn't do anything for me. Let's uh, try to figure out what this is. I'm sure you guys all know because you probably watched the preview. It's more than just background of an epic war zone. It includes new rules. The warriors of Kamara are keen to take advantage of the chaos and confusion caused by Typhus invasion. The Plague Purge Mission Pack. Is that a new product here? Oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, this... Warzone Charita. Man, is this basically Psychic Awakening again? Starting that off right in the beginning is such a bummer. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, we'll have to watch the video and see what they say on that. But this is just a first impression. I don't want to bore you with watching all the videos. Uh, these Crusade mission packs, they already did the Necron one. Here's the Death Guard one. Uh, I haven't looked at any of them. I'm very excited about these, assuming they have enough content in there to make it interesting. I think Crusade's the most exciting thing about 9th edition. If they can keep building up some kind of cool uh, campaign system for 40k, that's a very hard thing to do. But I think it's going to be well, well worth it for the company and the game if they can figure out how to make it really fun. There was a uh, Warhammer Fantasy Battle map campaign. I think it was called like Fallen Empires or something back in the day that I remember as being very fun. Could just be nostalgia, but I do remember it being fun. All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, okay. Codex. Oh, that's a cool looking cover. Real Space Raiders. Codex Drukari. Wow, okay. So this is confusing to me now because this has new rules for Drukari. And it actually bothers me quite a bit. But this is their new codex. So why are they getting new rules in this? Obviously money. <laughs> like these new rules in this book, whatever this book is. Of course, I could be just wrong on what that book is. They should just be in here. It's a nice looking book, though. I would much rather see regular Craft World Eldar, but... We all got to get new books sometime in some order. And I'm hoping the Craft World Eldar are getting a 
big new model line launch update all the aspect warriors phoenix lords make an avatar the size of the new satan or at least like uh magnus the red or mortarion size or at least you know greater demon size that would be great and they could make one so cool now of course he's going to be at over 100 bucks but if he gets good rules then i might pick him up I'm not going to pick him up for collecting purposes all right, looks like we got the first Xeno Codex will be 2021. Uh, got some stats, that's fine. And then we got Dark Angels. I do believe we already knew Dark Angels were coming in January. So that is cool. More Space Marines, let's just get them all out of the way. So then we can get more of them later in the edition because they'll usually get, it seems like, two rounds of updates to everybody's one no big deal though uh it sounds like the space rings are very strong in ninth edition they got very powerful rules and i don't know if that's so much of a space marines op or they're just the new books for ninth edition so we'll see this uh this one's very exciting here because if this book comes out and this army competes with the space marines or really dominates them or you know whatever then we'll know it's not just going to be another uh, space marine meta like it was at the end of eighth edition so that'll be cool but well so we got more space marines so who knows and i think these guys get like plus one to hit if they stand still or something crazy which i think they're going to be very strong so we'll see what they get here and also uh if you're looking at if you watch any other content like the frontline gaming network the uh one of the hosts reese is actually building this army or working on his dark angels and usually those guys are on the inside no sometimes they put their play testers so this army's probably going to be pretty good if that's the one he's working on but i'm not sure how much of a competitive player he is anymore but i'm pretty sure he is so it's probably gonna be good Looks like we got some chaplain action. Oh, that's all the 40k. Fortunately, you don't need to torture us to learn that this codex supplement is coming out early January 2021. Okay, yeah, we already knew that. So is that all of 40k right there? Oh, man. All right. So just to recap, I need to figure out what the heck this is. And I don't want to buy it for a couple little piddly things. And it'll be, <laughs> let's just give me a break here, people. All right, I've made a few videos about complaining about price. I actually have the money to afford this hobby. It's a matter of if I feel like the company's just trying to straight up rip me off. <laughs> and giving you, the Drukhari players, a new codex, yet printing a very small portion of their rules in this book, if I'm reading this right, is just insane. Like, you get your brand new book, but if you want all your rules, you got to buy this book too. And we all know these books are never $20, right? So, that's a bummer. And that, if they're doing it right now, right in the beginning of Ninth Edition, they'll be doing it all of Ninth Edition. They must have made so much money on Psychic Awakening that it's just, <laughs> they're just not stopping. Because if they keep cranking out these books with just enough decent stratagems and just enough decent special rules you know they can sell tons of them so looks like the van sar coming house of artifice awesome uh i love necromunda i haven't played with any of these new house books but maybe when me and all my friends get our own book we'll pick ours up and play another campaign i don't know if they let me know if you play necromunda do you need these books? Because I thought the game was actually pretty good already. But, uh, yeah, I think it'd be cool to check out. Let's see what their new model. <laughs> new models here. That's pretty cool. Got the sci-fi hovering guys. Yeah. I don't... So Nick or Munda flying around like this is a terrible idea. Because you'll never be able to hide behind cover and... They actually made it very easy to hit people on like twos and threes with like different weapons that get bonuses to hit, plus scopes and sights and laser sights and stuff. So unfortunate for them, but the models are awesome. 
and then you got these cool like exo suits which are also very sweet i'm sure my buddy who plays with sr will be very happy with them okay lord of the rings skip who cares and desecrated dire chasm oh it looks like these chaos guys are a warhammer what's this called underworlds not war cry that's unfortunate i wish they were war cry uh i don't actually play this game i was thinking about maybe picking up the starter set because they came out with a slanesh set whenever it comes out maybe it's already out but uh i probably won't they, they always have really cool models though so if you do play war cry or uh, role-playing games in general this is a really good way to pick up some great models so correct me if i'm wrong I think this is the first female Chaos Warrior, which is pretty awesome looking. They didn't go full big titty. They just uh, basically took off her helmet and showed she's a lady underneath. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. This wizard, uh, they always make good Chaos Wizards. The Gaunt Summoners, the different Chaos Sorcerers, they're always cool looking. This one's no exception. Another great Chaos Wizard. Looks kind of like a cultist, but with some magic power, so like maybe like a low-end chaos wizard. Good-looking chaos warrior. Really good-looking chaos warrior. Awesome, like, uh, scale. I don't know what that is. The flesh of something that he's wearing as a cloak. Plus, he's got kind of the slambo pose. Can't go wrong. That one's really cool. All right, awesome. I think that's all of them. Yep, so that looks like the Dire Chasm Cardass Ravagers. Cool. If you play Underworlds, let me know if it's worth playing. I don't honestly like card games that I'm not planning on collecting cards. So I don't know if it's going to be fun to just, you know, play the game with just your one little box and your starting cards. Oh, here we go. The Path to Excess. Whew. All right. Let's see what this is. So that was Sigvald, because he's Sigvald the Magnificent. I'm going to watch that later in private, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and there's little old Sigvald. And then how do we get... Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, man. That's like... Uh, he looks like the emperor of mankind. That's awesome. There's Sigvald. So he doesn't need these horns... At least not these double horns or whatever that is. What an upgrade. That is an awesome model. Like, maybe it's just the white horn paint job. I don't know. This thing is pretty incredible looking. I love that, like, rapier sword. He looks, he looks big, too. Like, he definitely looks like, uh, if you guys watch Game of Thrones, when that, uh, <laughs> the one guy on, I think he's, like, on a horse is charging the what is he like the mercenary of the sun he's protecting the queen of dragons or mother of dragons and he just throws his little pretty dagger in the horse's head and the horse falls over the guy rolls to his feet and then he chops off his head that's what this guy kind of reminds me of that is awesome i wonder is there an army coming with this guy oh look at that oh wee all right that's cool man i don't want to I don't like Sigmar enough to buy an army, but god dang. Give me AOS 3 and make me buy an army. Look at these guys. What is this? First up are Mir Medesh Painbringers. So awesome. I believe these appear to be some sort of <coughs> like a unique Slanesh Chaos Warrior, kind of like Blight Kings for Nurgle. And then uh, Bloodbound has, like, Blood Reavers and stuff. Zinch doesn't really have them. They got, like, Zangors and stuff. But... These are freaking sweet. I don't know what it is, but I always just think Slanesh is the best looking. I guess that's because that's what part of their whole dang thing is being good looking. Ridiculously good looking. And these are no exception. These are awesome. I could see... In some of the rumor engines, how people thought some of the armor that we saw was for 
Stormcast Eternals because they have kind of the Stormcasty plate veil on. You know, this has got kind of a little bit of a Stormcast vibe. So pretty awesome. They look like they're going to be probably pretty good size too. What else? We oh wow. <laughs> oh man, that guy's awesome. What is this? Then the Simberish Twin Souls. These are mortals who have forged dark packs with the lesser demons of Slanet sharing their bodies. Oh, give me a one with a claw. I mean, he's got a little claw, but I want the crab claw. Freaking love these clubs that they're put on that one character. And now this guy's rocking one. Uh, I forgot what that's called. I think it's a Japanese weapon. Like a... Oh, man, I can't remember. Japanese Oni or something swing around those clubs sometimes. Whip guy, um, yeah, yeah. I know GW can make these whips, but they're actually kind of a pain in the ass to, uh, you know, transport and deal with. A lot of the uh, Warcry guys who have like whips, they look good, but it's just a pain in the butt. Still a cool looking model. Let's see what else we got. Uh, kind of a dirt head got the mirror though that's always class so oh that's pretty sweet i think it's a mirror with a like a pitchfork end so it's she's like looking at herself but that's the sad head i mean that's pretty dumb looking <laughs> maybe with a different paint job but i don't love that head when they said they were combined with the demons i was hoping for like the crab claw arms more than the really not great slanesh looking demon heads right now Ooh, that one's even worse. It's got, oh, what is, some kind of almost like frog-like, but the smushed in flat nose. Eh, not great. And this one's also not great. Wow, these heads are pretty bad. They almost, I mean, this guy looks like a Dr. Seuss character. He's like Cindy Lou Who. Everything about this model is amazing, but this head is not ideal i don't think whereas this one i liked a lot he's got more of the keeper of secrets kind of goat feature with the big cheekbones and the kind of pointy ears same with that one and then they go into these kind of wonky just they're weird with their noses and stuff they look like dr seuss characters now if i was playing this army i would buy these a hundred percent they're still pretty awesome looking and maybe there'll be head options in the box or you could probably do a head swap. But, you know, if you're paying the f probably 60 bucks for the box, you might want to just use the heads because they're, even though they look a little off to me, I bet once I painted them up, I'd probably like them. So, okay. So, I don't know what this is. We got the character and two units. Do these units, are they built out of the same kit? Let's look at the legs here. We got knee pads and thing there. Um, yeah, I think they, well, I don't know. They look like they potentially could be out of the same kit. See this uh, loincloth? Well, let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Same kit. That's the same leg right there. And same chest. So this is one kit. All right, yeah, you can see he's got the, so because it's one kit, I'm assuming, of course, but I mean, you can see the bottle, this chest thing, the knee pad and leg here, and this leg, you can tell are exactly the same, I believe. Uh, so yeah, you could build these guys down here, but then still probably give them these heads if you wanted. So yeah, this is gonna be a cool kit. And we'll see what they are. So I guess Sigvald was defeated by a troll during the end times of the world that was. To celebrate its victory, the troll urinated on the broken body of Sigvald. As if to say, not so magnificent now. <laughs> I think Sig... Uh, what was his name? Trog or whatever? The troll king? V Vrog or Throg? Did Sigvald, Sigvald fight Throg, the troll king guy? I never read the book, but I remember there used to be a cool uh, character troll back in Warhammer Fantasy. So, 
the Slanesh stuff gets an A plus for sure. Especially now that it looks like, because I love these heads, the elaborate helmets with all the decorative stuff. I don't love most of these heads, but maybe there's a way to do something about it with your paint or just use these heads, which appears to be the same models, just some different arms and heads. This thing is incredible. I mean, this is a really, really good looking model, except I don't think I love the double horns. But I guess they had to give him horns or else he'd look like Sanguinius or the Emperor or something. They had to chaos him up a little bit, but man, he's pretty cool. But the double horn seems, I don't know, just off a little bit to me. But man, it is pretty sweet. We'll have to wait and see. Or you guys already know. I'll have to look up some of this uh, writing here and try to find out if this is a new Slanesh army, a new book, or what it could be is just this guy and these two units will be in the next uh, Broken Realms supplement. So they'll just be a little thing you can add on to your Hedonites of Slanesh army. And I think that's it for my first impression of the new Warhammer preview. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Not overly excited about what's coming to 40k yet until Admech or Eldar, like I've been saying, get a book. Then I'll play. Uh, don't care about the Vansar for myself, but I have a buddy who plays them, so he'll be super happy. Absolutely don't care about Dark Angels, but that same buddy who plays Vansar plays Dark Angels. I actually have two friends that are playing Dark Angels, so they'll be very happy with that. I don't really know many people who have Drakari. This thing could be cool, but until I get my codex, I'm not going to be playing any Crusade. And i got to find out what this is. This seems like a big letdown to me. <laughs> Whatever this product is here. So, I'm not looking forward to getting nickel and dimed for a whole bunch of $50 books that give me two, three pages of rules. So, I'll be either splitting it with somebody or letting some, you know, somebody letting me take pictures of the pages I want. Basically, I'm not buying any of this, like, this type of product ever again, I don't think. I would, you know, I'll buy the Codex when my armies get one, of course. But I think I'm out on these things. This, I told everybody, I got a lot of thumbs downs for it. I told everybody when Engine War was coming out for the AdMech, do not buy Engine War. <laughs> it's, GW was lying to you, and it proved right that... Yeah, they're pretending they're compatible with 9th edition and they were written with 9th edition in mind. They weren't. They just already made them and because of the pandemic they needed to sell them. But they were months and months behind. Yes, you can use them, but most of us probably aren't getting that many games in, if at all, right now in the state of the world. So, and they'll be replaced by the Codex. And who knows what this thing is. This thing might replace it already. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Just a look down at the Games Workshop preview. Please hit the like button. That helps out a lot. And subscribe. And let's all embrace our new Slanesh overlords. Thank you so much.